Hello, thanks for stopping by the MAC weather page for this Tuesday, August 9th. A nice start to the day. In fact, we got plenty of decent weather, I think, ready through much of the day on Thursday, but it's going to become very hot. Uh, looks like the hottest air has been delayed by about uh, 12 to 24 hours, but certainly much warmer today. High is around 84 to 88, and I think we get quite a bit warmer. So the headlines would be uh, warmer today, 84 to 88, and then hot and humid on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and even maybe Friday with highs of 91 to 95 on Wednesday, maybe that warm on Thursday, depending on the model you look at. And we could still be up around 90 on Friday as well. It'll be even more humid on Thursday than it will be on Wednesday, although Wednesday is going to be very uncomfortable. Again, some areas could reach the mid-90s, certainly low 90s in many areas. And over the next five days with precipitation, the best chance is that beginning on Thursday night into Friday night is looks like, the uh, again, the best period for much of the MAC area. We're going to have two significant areas of heavy precipitation, one off to our northwest end of the UP and the other one across the Ohio Valley. And we're going to have to watch that one in the Ohio Valley as that front comes through. We've been talking about that for a couple of days now. When that front moves through, it depends on where it sets up with ways of low pressure on it. Certainly some very heavy rains expected wherever that front settles and just to the north of that front. And again, right now it looks like it's off to our south, but to southeast Michigan, we'll keep an eye on that. Could see some excessive rains out of that. If we look at our normals for the day, the normal high is 81, the normal low is 57. You can see in 2001 we hit 100 degrees. And last year we had a high of 79 and a low of 63. And yesterday around the area here we had a high of 81, a low of 56. Again, no precipitation. We're now on the ninth day of August and we've not received any measurable rainfall in six of our 12 uh, weather station locations around uh, lower Michigan and in uh, southwest Ontario. If we look at the uh, conditions from yesterday across the area, again, mainly low 80s across the area. No precipitation reported at any of our stations. And if we look at the current conditions around the area, temperatures in the upper 50s to the low 60s for the most part. And again, uh, the, this one here is recording 100th of minute precipitation, probably from the pretty heavy, uh, dense, patchy fog we got out there. I don't think they actually got a any uh, rain yesterday, so we'll, we'll check with them on that. I think that's heavy dew. If we look at the uh, current satellite conditions, you can see a lot of the storms firing well off to our west and southwest, and eventually that system will move in and give us a good chance. I think all areas should have a good chance of seeing rain again as we get into Thursday night through Friday night, and maybe more scattered activity over the weekend, but I think most of the time it shouldn't be too bad this weekend, and we'll finally cool down just a bit and get into the 80s. Uh, for much of early next week, and then we're going to look at maybe another surge of warm air as we get towards the middle and end of next week. If we look at the uh, radar out there, again, nothing across the area. And at the uh, soil conditions right now, you can see, look in uh, the Breckenage area, and we are extremely dry, bone dry at the 2-inch, 4-inch levels, and down to even to the 8-inch levels, we are getting excessively dry. And the uh, favorable conditions at the 16-inch level are now on the borderline of becoming very dry, even that deep here. And again, most of the uh, upper uh, levels of the uh, soil very dry. Even though Blissfield uh, is almost bone dry now at the 2 and 4 inch level probably. Uh, certainly at the 2 inch level. So again, we're really drying out. You can see that uh, percentage of moisture where we're at continues to fall. We're down to 70% for all the locations here for the three months of May, June, and uh, July. And now in August. Again, very dry. Only 13% of the uh, precipitation we should normally have through the first uh, nine days of the month. So extremely dry here so far to start off the month of uh, August. And we're in the uh, drought, excessively dry areas across much of the area with a moderate drought across the Saginaw Valley area down towards Lansing and Jackson. And again, that really uh, includes the Breckenridge area. We're very dry as well here. And again, this one was for last week, and the new one will come out uh, today. It won't be issued until Thursday, so we'll leave this up uh, and re-show the two comparisons on the Friday forecast, Friday morning, and you're going to see a lot more of this uh, tan in here because the uh, report that will come out stops as of today at the end of the day. So it will be interesting to see how much drier we've gained, uh, we've gotten over the last week, uh, again, with no precipitation across the area. And as far as uh, the uh, Growing Degree Day reports, again, I haven't showed a lot of these because this was never going to be an issue for our locations. The growing degrees were going to be very plentiful, and you can see that's the case in Blissfield, uh, way ahead of pace. Uh, Breckenridge also, I should have moved these over a little bit. Now we're getting later in the season. But again, 
Uh, we're uh, much better than the last quite a few years that we used to compare. We're up near normal nests despite a later planting, 50% uh, plant date as well. Again, Brown City in great shape as well. And the Wago also in very good shape. So no problem with the growing degree days. It's always been about the moisture. And um, that certainly is going to be the challenge as we continue to move forward. On the forecast map this morning, you can see um, a low pressure system that's going to be slowly moving towards the Ohio Valley. It's going to bring that uh, warm front uh, up into the area. And again, we're going to get very hot over the next uh, 72 hours. And if we look at the forecast map by Wednesday morning, low pressure system now across the upper plains. That's going to move to the uh, northeast. And as it does, that cold front is going to very slowly sag, and that's going to increase the amount of precipitation once that gets closer and closer to us. And again, we really don't start getting into the favorable moisture conditions around uh, the MAC area until Thursday night as this flow continues to move uh, into the area. As far as precipitation from the WPC over the next uh, 72 hours, again, very little precipitation. This would be mainly for Thursday, and it would be isolated to scattered thunderstorms later in the afternoon. And then as we get into the uh, seven-day outlook, you can see many areas picking up around an inch according to the WPC. And as far as INSEP goes, it has most of the area around three-quarters of an inch to about an inch and a quarter. But look at the uh, area just off to our southeast, up to three inches near Sandusky, Ohio, and up to around two inches as you get towards Toledo. And again, we'll keep an eye on that. If that moves either way, we could have more or less rain, depending on that, uh, how that works out. And then closer to the upper or to the uh, low pressure system, that's going to track to our northwest. That helps push the warm air in. Another area, pretty significant rainfall there across much of the uh, western UP. Thanks for stopping. Well, uh, again, I just want to remind you, one week from today is the beginning of the Agro Expo down in St. John's. Hopefully we'll see some of you down there. And again, thanks for stopping by and have a great day and 73s to all.